emphasizing the way Christ emphasized self. A necessary reality to know is that Christ Jesus required to be in contact with mankind, even to be abused by mankind, because it was in the Father's doctrine that Christ Jesus in the flesh of man needed to reveal himself. Christ Jesus, when questioned, needed to bear witness of self. Christ had to tell those he would appear around that he was from above, was the Son of God, sent by his Father to save. John 8.18 I am one that bear witness of myself, and the Father that sent me beareth witness of me. John 14.6 14, 14.6 6. 14, 6. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. The most important image I have of Christ Jesus is that of Christ on the cross being the promised offering of reconciliation to remove the enmity, Christ Jesus himself being the Prince of Peace, conducting the sacrificial blood atonement offering divinely presented fully during his crucifixion, fulfilled that which is required by the Prince. Ezekiel 45, 17. And it shall be the prince's part to give burnt offerings and meat offerings and drink offerings in the feast and in the new moons and in the Sabbaths in all solemnities of the house of Israel. He shall prepare the sin offering and the meat offering and the burnt offering and the peace offerings to make reconciliation for the house of Israel. Present day Christ Jesus is unchanging. I see present day Christ Jesus addressing help that is needed for overcoming every lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and pride of life. Christ Jesus' presence with the components of love leads mankind to obey that by the obedience is being the way of escape. Being led by the Lord Christ Jesus as the power and wisdom of God with ability to dismiss and put to silence any life and death, heaven and earth, word not of God. All goodness, righteousness, and truth that was embedded in the very heart, mind, and spirit of the Lord God, promoted and manifested in the word of truth that fully revealed the Godhead's work by Christ Jesus. The spirit of truth, truth is that which followed Christ Jesus as he went about doing good and preaching the doctrine of the Father in the gospel of the kingdom of the Lord Christ Jesus. The words of Jesus remembered his power. The words of Jesus remembered has power. Remembering the very words of Christ Jesus is that which promotes strength in my life and especially in providing for living as a light regarding being a disciple, imitating the provided way used by Christ Jesus. I find with today's doctrine initiated by mankind encircling the world, that which Christ Jesus spoke is freeing. The words and choices of Christ Jesus are those ways that still today defeat the cunning 
seducing and deceitfulness of sin is to be lived by. All that which Satan initiated was with intentions to remove God and the ways of God by replacement by 666, man's person, man's doctrine, and man's commandments. Holy Spirit and Father both exalt Christ Jesus. Knowing the devil's ways as presented from the beginning, I have been led to have a greater need to understand the one Godhead, being led by scripture to know one God in three divine persons is significant and as revealed by Christ Jesus is in God's love for mankind clarified. Truth of the Father and the Holy Spirit is that which is fully and in the action of speech is shared by the Spirit provided words of the Lord Christ Jesus. The Father's and Holy Spirit's roles as presented in the Word of God are of significant importance in exalting Christ Jesus and exposing the deceitfulness of sin. The Father and Holy Spirit, which was spoken of from the beginning by prophets and by Christ Jesus, we have specific knowledge of the roles that strengthen mankind's relationship with the Lord Christ Jesus. All of Christ Jesus' words are of great importance in providing and maintaining the Godhead's work in making the gospel of the kingdom known by the truth revealed in Christ Jesus. Godhead present to reveal heart and way of God in accord with Christ Jesus in revealing God's heart and ways for leading mankind to have knowledge of God's work in Christ Jesus, to promote all goodness, righteousness, and truth, which is exalting the Lord Christ Jesus as the way. Christ Jesus identified as the word is that which makes it a blessing for me to listen to and remember the works of Christ Jesus and the words of Christ Jesus regarding the work of the Holy Spirit and the Father. John 5.32 There is another that beareth witness of me, and I know that his witness which he witnesses of me is true. John 1526. But when the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceedeth from the Father, he shall testify of me. John 536. But I have greater witness than that of John, for the works which the Father hath given me to finish, the same works that I do bear witness of me that the Father hath sent me. Son of God, Son of Man, I accept Christ Jesus as the Son of God and the Son of Man. Is he that lived to promote as prophesied that which was fully required for gifting the soul of mankind. When the Son of God was sent to become the Son of Man with the way, the truth, and the life required by Father God for mankind to hear and be redeemed, it was available for mankind from before the world began. Knowing Christ Jesus with the same heart, mind, and strength of the divine presence of the Godhead is to me an everyday gift because that which Christ Jesus for righteousness 
sake did goes, it does not change. Hebrews 13a. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. The Son of God is given for man to enjoy knowing God's purpose for man as the Son of Man, Christ Jesus, life leading to eternal life is present and to be known. The sincere need to overcome the darkness of sin and how the knowledge of the devil's work is a must. The love-based life of the Son of Man, Christ Jesus, is by the truth of his love-based life was lived to prevail over the subtlety of sin. Christ Jesus faced whole of the devil's tricks. It is good to note that Christ Jesus was tempted in all points sin as Eve. I think of how Eve was being deceived in the presence of Adam. Adam, who according to scripture, was standing beside Eve and by scripture, revelation, I see Adam was led by his own lust and by Eating the fruit disobeyed God and sinned willfully when it states Eve was deceived into sinning. When Satan, in the guise of the beautiful, subtle, flying serpent, spoke directly to Eve, he ignored self-occupied Adam, and with words the serpent deceived Eve. As Adam stood with Eve and by his own desire willingly yielded to disobey God, as Adam, with freedom of choice, yielded self to respond to deceived Eve's response, I am finding the word of God gives discernment involving any life and death event in life when I seek by searching scripture which I did regarding being tempted, James 1.14. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. It is revealed by God's word. No one is free to blame their actions on the choices and actions of others. The word of God reveals the truth regarding all life and death issues and how decisions are made by a man's individual desire. James 1.15 Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. The devil uses words and senses to foster sin. As we go to the response of Christ Jesus to see the devil's temptation for Jesus to make bread, I believe the devil used his full power with words to create sensory imaginations to drive Christ Jesus to accommodate the flesh by sinning. The, to use imaginations, the devil attempts also by his seducing words to create imaginations to lead Christ Jesus being in the flesh of man response as a seduced man and sin. It was determined by the devil seeing Christ Jesus in needy appearance by hunger in his flesh as a man, the appearance of weak flesh of man, identified by the devil, gave the devil encouragement. The devil was encouraged to try with his power of words and ability to create sensual images to distract Christ from his salvation purpose and in working on mankind's behalf. 
The devil tricks were conceived by Satan as that which would help lead Christ Jesus to sin. By Christ Jesus being the Son of God in human flesh, this was the moment during which time the devil did his best. Christ Jesus' time as mankind to in his lowest physical state overcame the devil due to that which is in his heart. Identify not only how Christ overcame the devil's tricks, but to know the tools Christ has available. The devil's hope was that Christ Jesus in human flesh would have been led to sin due to his body's need and by the seducing words and sensual used words to promote a desire for bread. As a show and tell person, I see the devil as he is found to be with still steal, kill, and destroy skills to support his intentions, which was revealed in the devil's every spoken word. I know Satan, by his corrupted wisdom, created the appearance and fragrance, giving a rock the visual imagination of an actual loaf of bread. With Christ Jesus, it always is to use the word. We have the words used by Christ Jesus, spoken from the heart of Christ Jesus, the way Christ Jesus always referred to the word of God. The leading the Lord gave for mankind to follow is that which was from the word of God and specifically from the Old Testament, as the New Testament was not written until from over 40 years after his return to heaven. Deuteronomy 8, 2. And thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord thy God led thee these 40 years in the wilderness to humble thee and to Im to prove thee to know what was in thine heart and whether thou wouldest keep his commandments or no. The knowledge we are led to gain of the Lord God and the disclosure of that which identifies how and why the Lord God works on our behalf in achieving for mankind righteousness. Deuteronomy 8.3 And he humbled thee, and suffered thee to hunger, and fed thee with manna, which thou knewest not, neither did thy fathers know, that he might make thee know that man doth not live by bread only, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Lord doth man live. Use of all elements to no gospel needed. Learning to hear and observe all that is connected to the gospel of Christ Jesus is necessary. The gospel of the kingdom as emphasized by Christ Jesus is the very father given way. We start to truly understand. The wisdom, knowledge, and the understanding of God is revealed by the example of Christ Jesus, who worked and due to love, spoke the doctrine of salvation as given to him by the Heavenly Father. In the heart and the sin-defeating way of Christ Jesus in the Word, it is revealed by Christ's life-promoting ways that were evident. As Christ Jesus shared continually, all that Christ Jesus performed was of his Father God as the Godhead in three divine is the truth leading mankind. 
to know all persons of the past that have served the Lord God have been seen as being fruitful as they were active in the work seeking God's way revealed in Christ Jesus. The Godhead is constant by word and in deed in full support of that which has been revealed by Christ Jesus. I listen as Christ with the word was prepared to confront the devil's temptation to make bread. Luke 4.4 4. And Jesus answered him saying, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Studying the life of Christ Jesus, it is presented in the Old Testament that which would be accomplished as is now being identified, fulfilled in the New Testament and by promises beyond. Knowing the heart and mind of Christ Jesus has led mankind to see and gain truth to live by the Lord Christ Jesus. By the word of God, I, by the word of God, identify many words of truth given to establish truth and to establish a life pattern praised by the Father to know and with desire follow. It is in the role of the kinsman redeemer as the son of man, humbled by representing man in the flesh of mankind, was present in the earth also being the much needed righteous son of God by which God in the flesh was revealed. We can by the life actions of Christ Jesus and much needed words of the Lord are much easier prepared to see the heart of God by whose way we are led. The one love and the one way of the Lord God is that which leads us to the name and unchanging place to focus our life commitment by which we live, breathe, and have our being as God's people. Jeremiah 32, 38 and 39. And they shall be my people and I will be their God and I will give them one heart and one way that they may fear me and forever for the good of them and of their children after them. Using the heart and way of God sets the stage with an understanding of how that which was in the heart of the Son of God was revealed by the way Jesus to situations responded at the time of the devil's effort to gain a victory even over God in the flesh, I feel comfortable in claiming that the victory was for me to know and pursue knowing the word, that which was revealed as Christ Jesus was being confronted with the temptations of the devil, I realize more and more by abiding with knowing Jesus when he was in action at the place of a challenge is an opportunity for a special blessing. Going on to the second temptation initiated by Satan that I see falls in the category of lust of the eyes. Luke 4, 5 and 4, 5 through 4, 7. And the devil taking him up into a high mountain showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, all this power will I give thee, 
and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will, I give it. If thou therefore will worship me, all shall be thine. An important advantage is to know the devil. The dominating thought that fulfills mm, the dominating thought that filled my mind in considering the approach of the devil was the emphasis of the devil on the power and the glory of the kingdoms that he, the devil, could give. I, from scripture, understand it was with pride that the devil made his offer to Christ, which the devil, with no doubt, a display of arrogance, proudly boasted. I accept that which we are able to identify as he that became Satan the devil is based upon that which he, in heaven as Lucifer, the anointed cherub, by uplifting self, turned away from God, which promotes evolving sin. At the time of his fall in heaven, and how as Lucifer he fell from upright works in all his ways, that at first gave glory and honor to the Lord God, and then by Lucifer's heart being lifted up, fell into sin due to the self-exalting way Lucifer chose to go. He fell into the place of evolving soul darkness. It benefits to keep in mind the devil is active. As I recall how the devil speaks of how he can give the power and glory in giving the kingdoms, being aware that even though a liar, there is a kingdom of darkness at Satan's will. I think of how those that are considered taken captive by the devil, I consider that the devil does have tools to take man captive. In God's word, we see Satan also is known as the God and Prince of this world and his power, if given the opportunity to use, has a blinding effect. Second Corinthians 4.4 4, In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Ephesians 2.2 2, Wherein, in time past, he walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit, that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Going to Christ Jesus response to the devil offering the Lord Jesus the kingdoms of the world, I rejoice in and I pay attention. As I know from the heart of God came Christ's response, and that which came from Godhead's heart revealed the way to live truth. Luke 4, 8, And Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Christ Jesus had no hesitation when it came to the truth of that which mankind was to live and to that which was to be the response to all that would be idols. Hearing the words of Christ Jesus and considering his reactions to the devil's presence, I know gives victory. I know no matter how the temptations come, Christ's response is to be that chosen for all the members of mankind. And they are definitely now mine. I 
find peace and rest in having God's way of truth in word and by the life of Christ Jesus to have before me what Christ Jesus did in every situation I know is to be the response I am to use when confronted with any of the devil's substitutes. I am growing aware that the devil uses many distractions to keep mankind from acknowledging God in all their ways and focusing on the blessings connected with serving the Lord God.